What's going on guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Mamoswine. Yeah, Mamoswine is coming to the game on the 29th of September, so just a couple more days. Um, but we're going to be looking at a video posted by Chowzy. His channel is going to be down in the description below along with the YouTube video linked in there. And we're going to take a look at its moves and give our thoughts and opinions. But I'm not going to spoil anything, but this, this Pokemon looks crazy. Can't wait to see the gameplay that comes out, see how you guys kind of mess around with the items. But all that said, uh, before we get into it, if you do enjoy the content, drop a like, comment, subscribe. If you are new here, consider heading down there, hitting that subscribe button, hit the notifications, all that good stuff. All that said... Let's get into it. Okay. okay, so it's a defense, so we have a defender. Cool. All right, we're going to pause real quick. So evolutionary level is 1, 6, and 10. So right, he's got Bulbasaur as level 1. <laughs> so obviously that's going to be Swin Up. But so 1, 6, and 10, so 6 is a while to get to your second evolution. I think normally it's 5, especially with um, Squirtle, Charmander, and um, Bulbasaur. I don't really mess around with any of the other um, Pokemon in there, vaguely. I mean, you have Eldegoss, which is level 4, and you have Alola Ninetales is level 4, so 6 is a little much, but... Okay. Okay, so it has a lot of crowd control abilities. So we're looking at Thick Fat. It has defense and special defense with a maximum of three stacks. And the third basic attack can stun. And we have a. And then the initial abilities we're going to start with is Ice Shard and Tackle. I'm going to pause this here so we can read it. So hurls three chunks of ice at the designated location, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short amount of time. If an opposing Pokemon is hit by all three chunks, it's left frozen for a short time. Interesting. Yeah, so anytime you can control the movement speed of the opposing Pokemon, that's always great. That way you can capitalize on it and so can your teammates. Okay, so the aiming convention looks a little bit like Bulbasaur Seed Bomb, and if it's hit by all three chunks, then it's frozen and I'm unable to move. Cool. Tackle. So it's a dash move. Has the user rush recklessly in the designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon. It hits and throwing them. All right, so let's see that in action. Okay, wow, Tackle has a long range. <laughs> oh, and it can go through walls too. That's pretty cool. Okay, so at level 6, we can either get Icicle Crash or Ice Fang. Okay, so level 6, we either get Ice Fang or Icicle Crash. So he's going to show us Icicle Crash. Let's see. Oh, okay. More reading. Wow, that's a lot of words. <laughs> All right. So drops Icicle in a designated location, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short amount of time. So a lot of movement speed decrease. Final Icicle shatters after a set amount of time or when hit by the user's other moves or boosted attacks dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and leaving them frozen. Deep breath. If the Icicle is shattered by Tackle or High Horsepower, the ground is covered in ice, which increases the movement of speed, increases the movement speed of allied Pokemon that run over it. Um, upgraded at level 12. And when it's upgraded, the final Icicle leaves the opposing Pokemon it hits unable to act for a short time. Okay, so Icicle Crash is also a ranged control of the- wow! Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, that last one comes down pretty quick, so it deals damage and slows them, and if broken by tackle or high horsepower, um, so a small area of ice forms for a short amount of time, an ally Pokemon can increase the move speed. Okay, so plus has a longer duration of stun. Alright. Alright. So now we have Ice Fang. So use uses cold infused fangs to throw the opposing Pokemon closest to the user, dealing damage and leaving the Pokemon frozen for a short time. The user can then designate a direction to slam the thrown Pokemon forward or backward. De Whoa. The user can designate a direction to... Okay. 
dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and leaving them frozen for a short time. Okay, upgrades at level 12, increases the area of effect. Okay. I, I, I want to see this. Okay, so Ice Fang grabs the nearest enemy Pokemon. Okay, it's got a little bit of distance to it. And can slam the Pokemon away. Whoa. Whoa. And it stuns? Okay, extends the range of the slam attack. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Pause. So imagine this, right? You guys are heading into a team fight, and you see their carry their main attack or whatever you want, right? Whoever you're trying to single out, you hit Ice Fang, you throw them backwards towards your team, and they can just wreak havoc. You down their carry, and then they are down. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, that's definitely an ability to look out for. This is a defender, too, so it's rather bulky, so being at the front of the lines is not too out of the realm. Okay. Okay, so Tackle can be upgraded to High Horsepower or Earthquake. High Horsepower. Okay, so level 8, Tackle can either become High Horsepower or... I forget what else he said. What did he say? Okay, so when reaching level 8, it can be upgraded to High Horsepower or Earthquake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Earthquake's right there. Sorry. All right. High Horsepower. So again, rushing recklessly in the designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and shoving them, the user then stomps its feet, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and leaving them unable to act for a short time. So it seems like Mamoswine right now is stunning a lot and is freezing a lot. Not a lot with the freezing so much, but manipulating movement speed. So decreasing it for your opponents and increasing it for your allies. The stomping deals increased damage to frozen opposing Pokemon. Okay. All right, upgrades at level 14. Wow. That's a little high, but... Eh, eh, it's whatever. Increases the reckless rush's speed and the length of time the opposing Pokemon are left unable to act. So, increases that length of stun. High horsepower, long-range dash ability, knockback enemy Pokemon, and stomp. Wow, that range is nuts, man. Okay, if it's frozen, stomp damage will be increased. Okay. And the plus effect, faster dashing and longer stun to... Wow, you're stunning for a while. Jeez. Okay, here's the other move we can pick. We can pick Earthquake, right? Has the user leap up in the designated direction and land forcefully dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and pulling them towards the user. Ooh, that pull is going to be nice. Okay, upgrade at level 14. Decreases movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time when this move hits and increases the move's pulling power. All right. All right, so range, crowd control ability. Okay, stops forcefully <laughs> over walls, too. All right, pull, you got that yoink ability, too. That's cool. And Earthquake Plus slows the enemy and pulls him closer. All right. All right, unite move time. Nice. Yeah, that Earthquake seems really good. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of Icicle Crash uh, high horsepower builds, possibly, but we shall see. Okay, so here's a Unite move. User jumps in the designated location to become immune to hindrances. That's already pretty good. The user then repeatedly stomps the ground, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short time with each stomp. The final stomp throws opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. All right, let's check this out. All right, so he's invincible. That's good. Oh, wow, he's, like, stomping around like crazy. He's going on a rampage. Slows nearby Pokemon, and the last stomp is going to knock all the opposing Pokemon in the air. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, he thinks Mamoswine's really OP. Yep, I think the crowd control ability, high amount of damage. The, 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 these builds are just going to make for one big wrecking ball. So... Final thoughts on Mamoswine. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what it does. Whew, man, it's like... <laughs> like Chow said, like the, um, the crowd control is crazy. I think the movement speed um, really, really helps out your team. 
because like I said earlier, you can not only manipulate the movement speed on their end by decreasing, but you can also increase your um, team's movement speed. So the stun is a really big thing too. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of defender metas. So um, <laughs> yeah, me and another guy were talking, we said, you know, he was like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that, you know, you would see like three defenders, a support and like two all rounders or something like that. And I, I agree, you know, you have Blastoise that just released not, not too long ago and now you have Mamoswine. So you have a lot of crowd control. I could totally see Mamoswine grabbing an opponent with Ice Fang, throwing them back and then Blastoise just hits them with a rapid spin and just starts popping off with Water Spout and all that. So we could definitely see some defender synergy. Um, right off the bat, so defender, so I'm thinking Buddy Barrier, um, Muscle Band, and Focus Band, possibly. Um, it's mo more than likely going to be attack-oriented. I can't see it being special attack-oriented, given high horsepower, earthquake, and all that. But, um, yeah, he's looking really good, guys. Um, but we're not done here. Um, we're going to head over to um, Twitter where we can get just a little bit more information about the release. Okay, so shoutouts go to Absolutely for this information, a little bit of data mine here. Um, so Mammoth Swine's difficulty is intermediate, uh, like we said, um, attack-based, not special attack. Um, he's a defender. The price is going to be 8,000 AOS coins or 460 AOS gems, and the release date is going to be, like we said, the 29th. So let's just look at these screenshots here. So yeah, um, we could either learn Ice Shard or Tackle starting off. Then level six, we can go to Icicle Crash or Ice Fang. Level eight, then we have Tackle can become High Horsepower Earthquake. And then level 10 is when we learn our Unite move, which is the Mammoth Mash. So really, really, really good. Um, Pokemon to start and it's not to start but like to be released right it's just such a good defender like you want crowd control you want stun you want all this crazy stuff right and it synergizes really well with your team because you can like you could just yoink them back like that's nuts and then you can stun them and then your team can just go ham and I, th I think we're gonna see a shift in the meta for maybe just for a little bit going towards defenders until they maybe release a patch or something but but yeah guys um let me know down in the comments below do you plan on um spending coins or gems to get mammoth swine what do you think of mammoth swine i think he's pretty op um but we'll have to see um when the time comes so I'm excited. Can't wait. I might have some gameplay coming out when he has actually released. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, again, my name is Brandon. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. And I will catch you guys in the next one.